Many of you have been asking and asking for an update to my derm rolling journey. I admit that during the holiday season, I fell off the wagon a bit, especially when it came to derma rolling consistently. I am accustomed to derma rolling daily. You'll never catch me on a video looking like I'm in deathly pain using a micro needle. I am very comfortable using a derma roller. I've been doing it consistently since 2022, but derma rolling still causes inflammation and sometimes unwanted shedding. Sometimes my scalp is slightly red and inflamed, and I don't want to keep taxing my immune system through micro needle bruising just to regrow hair. In addition to stepping back from derma rolling, I enjoyed my caffeine, but organically. I didn't consume mint tea, meaning I lost a lot of its anti-androgen properties. I also lost a lot of consistency during the holiday season due to travel, work, and setting up a studio at a new location that I consider home. In 2022 and 2023, I would shave my head down to a few millimeters because at the end of the day, your hair grows from the scalp. Taking care of your hair is a different beast from taking care of the hair growth and the scalp. And I wanted to put the focus on my scalp through derma rolling and environmental changes. I feel that before people notice any hair loss, they're usually using a lot of products that nurture the style of the hair itself while neglecting the health of the hair follicle and the scalp. During October when the holiday season started is when I started to just let things go and as usual, I didn't see much change. 30 days is never really enough time to notice much different. In the following months of November and December, I was able to see that my hair loss definitely stabilized to a point where if an area recovered, it pretty much stays recovered for the long haul, even if I see derma rolling. This is important to me as I don't want to live a life where I have to constantly wound my scalp to maintain hair growth. It's important to progress to a new stage of development. I will never be one of those tired YouTubers that just sits up here and beats the same horse over and over again, most of them barely having any photos of themselves to show actual results. I promise to always be 100% transparent and honest with you. No filters, no fancy editing, no hair transplants. It's what I've come to realize that you guys really want. You all are absolutely tired of the games and I don't blame you. Being tired of the games is one of the primary reasons I created this channel. That being said, I was able to stabilize my hair loss through a series of lifestyle changes that reduce cortisol and testosterone while increasing serotonin and growth factors by maintaining a good circadian rhythm. From my experience, derm rolling plays a role in the hair regrowth process by providing a way to resurrect dormant hair follicles using growth factors from wound healing. I also increase my scalp massages, which I speculate as beneficial due to these massages, breaking up any scar tissue and changing the texture of the scalp skin to make it more conducive for hair growth. I theorize that the reason DHT increases beard and body hair growth while slowing and even halting scalp growth is a matter of changes in gravity. Doing some digging, I found out that this isn't a new theory. The so-called DHT paradox has been studied by many. A quick search revealed the mounting evidence that DHT reduces collagen in the skin and skin thickness, thus causing hair on the scalp to feel the mounting stress of the collapsing follicular environment. But guess what? DHT is actually good for your body, providing broad anti-inflammatory effects. This just may be the reason that stress and inflammation have such a strong correlation with hair loss. Beard hair would benefit from DHT by allowing more expansion of the skin on the cheeks and jawline. As the skin gets pulled by gravity, the growth environment from beard hair would feel a lessening of pressure and more growth. This could also potentially explain the inconsistent results with inversion therapy therapy for hair growth. Inversion therapy would only provide the scalp with brief, small amounts of relief from the pressure and tension placed on scalp hair follicles, allowing for some temporary growth depending on how consistent one is. Could I be wrong about all of this? Absolutely. I don't have a lab, team, and millions in funding to test these things out. Moving forward, I plan to give many of you what you're looking for, more frequent derm rolling updates and growing my hair from millimeters to inches. I've done a lot of vetting of hair care products and I will take you along as I see just how far I can go with the knowledge and genes I have. And for those of you waiting for the beard growth updates, I've gotten some new products and a growth plan for that as well. My beard hair is extremely unruly even when it's thin and patchy, but I have a new derm roller on its way in the mail and hope to see the same positive results with my beard as I've seen with my scalp and eyebrows. I look forward to this journey in 2024 and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.